Hi all you wonderful quilters, I'm Kathy with True Cotton Company. Look in the description box down below, you can find a link to the shop as well as our address if you're interested in visiting in person. I'm really excited, today is Worldwide Quilting Day, and so I'm really excited that all of us quilters get to get together and sew. And I really thought it would be fun, because I love so kind of wonderful patterns, and I thought it would be really fun to make Posh Bunny. It's a really sweet pattern. It's 26 inches by 38, so 38 long, 26 wide, a nice little wall hanging, really fun door. If you want to hang it on a door in your house, it's just really fun. And it, you can see it doesn't require too much in the way of fabric. You need a half a yard of your bunny fabric, a fat quarter of an accent color. We need a little bit for the eyes and the nose. 10 by 10 square for a bow tie, and a yard of your background, and then just a yard for backing and a half a yard for binding, and you do need the QRC mini ruler. And this is a ruler I know I've showed you all here in the shop before, but we use it, and commonly we use these darker dashed lines here. There's lots of lines that you can use for different kinds of piecing, but that's the one we use most commonly and you just line it right up with a square and then make your cut right along there and you get two pieces obviously in the same color but just like that and then you sew those together to make a block like this and you will sew similar to here but always follow the pattern. Now if you can see on here I'm not going to tell any sizes or anything but I do have the points marked and what you want to do is take your ruler and just get it right between those marks where those points are. And then you're just going to take and cut right along there. And then the same thing with this blue fabric. And I am making a mirror image with these, so you do want to do these. I've got wrong sides together. You could do right sides together, but you don't want to do, you know, right sides up. With these curves, there's lots of times where you do cut that way. But these, we want these nice mirror images. We use this a lot in the pattern. And so just like that is how it lays out. And then we want to sew these together. And you do, I want to show you how to sew these because you do them a little different. This one you want to start just a quarter inch in, just lining up this starting section. Mm -hmm. We'll go over to the machine. and sew this together just using a quarter inch. I like that little fabric to start with to catch any kind of threads that bunch up or anything. And then just make a couple of stitches onto the orange fabric. And then just come along, bringing, pulling the bottom over and bringing this side over so that they match just every few stitches. Just bring them right together. It goes quite quickly. And I, I was able to get this pattern done in a little bit of a long weekend. And I do here at the end like to use this Alex Anderson, the four in one essential sewing tool. It has a stiletto on one end. And this stiletto just helps you really get that last bit together. Just like that, I'm going to grab the other piece. You're going to sew this one together a little different. We're going to start this time with this pointed edge. And you want to be a half inch in, and I just usually use my foot thumb to measure about a half inch and then just mm -hmm. line that up at the start. And now using that quarter inch, just get right onto that orange and then always have that, the concave piece on the bottom. 
and you just bring the two edges together and you do it quite gently. The closer you get, the more they will come together. So you don't need any pins or glue or anything. And here's where I like to grab my stiletto. And just get those edges where they're easing themselves together. Just like that. And it's quite beautiful and quick. Miss my little scrap through again. And the only two places where I'd really worry about in the pattern pressing opposite, there can be a few, but really important with the nose and the tail. Really getting those to line up. And so I just like to do a little finger pressing. And then I'll bring the iron over and press hmm. and then this one I'll just flip around the other way and do that to the outside because in the places where you need to nest together it's really nice if they're opposite there's a lot of places in this pattern where that's not a part of it and now to trim this block you want to take your piece And look, you can see right on this corner there's this plus sign. You're going to use the plus sign and where the two and the four meet down here. And that's what lays on the curve. So you want the plus sign from that point right on the curve. And then you're just going to trim and you trim off that top edge. And now you flip it around and you just trim to the sizes that they recommend within the pattern. And if this is not my pattern, so I'm not telling any of the sizes, but I wanted you all to see these techniques. And then this is your little piece mm -hmm. that you use. And then I'm hiding that one under the paper and this one you're going to lay out this way still using that those same two marks that where the two inch and the four inch meet in that plus sign mm -hmm. and you just trim off and then trim off the top And then we're just going to turn it around. I'll get that little bunny ear off. And just get this all lined up. And trim. And then trim, let me trim off this little edge. And then you can see here we have these nice mirror images of each other. Hmm. And so these are the blocks that you use in this pattern. And then let me show you the couple of things I've done with this Posh Bunny pattern. You can see here, if you watch the Oscars this week, there, James Hong won a, an award and he wore a really wonderful googly-eyed tie. His was a navy blue tie and a blue shirt. I used this lovely mink fabric from Art Gallery, but then did just some little applique white circles and then drew on my little pupils because <laughs> I, I don't do a lot of applique. And I was having trouble getting the applique to stick, so I just decided with my pin tail <coughs> roller gel pin for fabric just to draw on a little circle there and I just used the base of a or fill thread for that hmm. and then here's my posh bunny I think it's a really dapper bunny mm -hmm. and you can see he's holding a cute little egg I love this background fabric from art gallery 
And then eyes and bow tie match. Has a wonderful coral nose and a soft pink accent. So it's just a really cute, pretty quilt. And I'll show you here I was talking about pressing. You can see here I've done them opposite so it nests together at the nose and comes to a better point. And the same thing with the tail. Have those where they're going in opposite ways. That way it nests together mm -hmm. really nicely. Like on the bow tie, they don't have to nest together. So there's just certain points where you, it was a little more helpful to press in opposite ways. I love So Kind of Wonderful and their posh patterns. And so I also, back in the holidays, did Posh Santa. And so this was really fun. And I had a lot of fun playing with this and quilting it. So hopefully you can see some of the quilting I did. This is some work. I've been really proud of my work on this one. So I just thought I would show it off as well. Because if you want to make a Santa Claus, this is really sweet. If you want a nice cute bunny. That's wonderful. And there's so many more of these patterns I'm going to want to do. And if you do want to make a 2023 quilt and you want to throw a googly-eyed bow tie in your quilt, this is a wonderful <laughs> little nod to the Oscars this year. So that's everything I was been working on recently. I hope you're getting to sew on this Worldwide Quilting Day. It's a fun day that all of us quilters get to spend together. Certainly let me know in the comments section what you're working on. And that if you are enjo enjoying what we're doing, go ahead and subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video in particular, go ahead and like. And the, that lets me know that you want to see more of the So Kind of Wonderful patterns. And I love that I'm a certified instructor with So Kind of Wonderful. If you are sewing today, do win that game of bobbin chicken. I certainly hope you do keep a nice full bobbin today. All right. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.